My mama always said that a sword fight was like a box of chocolates. And she was right. But there is more to that story than you might think. Imagine, if you will, a barren and alien world. A world that lies between light and shadow, between science and superstition. A world that lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. It is a world without joy, without hope, without dreams. It is a world, in short, without chocolate. In a nightmare, you are thrust into this world, a stranger in a strange land, with no hope of ever returning home, no hope of again seeing family and friends, with no hope of chocolate. Now imagine trying to explain to the denizens of this bizarre reality exactly what you mean when you ask about chocolate. All you get is silence, frowns, suspicious looks, Heads cocked like the RCA Victor dog. As they ask, what the heck is chocolate? What do you tell them? How do you describe chocolate in such a way that they will know what you're talking about? You tell them all about it. You tell them everything you know about chocolate. You tell them about cacao beans, about Cortez, about pure unsweetened chocolate bitter chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate. You tell them about fermentation and grinding and blending and conching and refining and tempering and shaping, the tales of the three chocolatiers. You tell them about chocolate cakes and chocolate mousse and chocolate pudding and chocolate chip cookies right out of the oven and chocolate covered pretzels, chocolate ice cream, chocolate kisses and the chocolate brownies that made you fall in love with Alice B. Toklas when you were a college freshman. You tell them all about chocolate Easter eggs and chocolate hearts on Valentine's Day and chocolate dreidels and Willy Wonka. They listen to your babblings of chocolate gibberish, attentively, calmly nodding, smiling supportively, the way you would listen to a lunatic. They try so hard to understand what's wrong with you. They marvel at the epic scale and detailed complexity of your chocolate fantasy delusion. Before too long, they can tell your chocolate stories almost as well as you can. They know almost everything about chocolate, and yet they do not know chocolate. Then one day, a strange and wondrous craft lands on this forlorn planet. It's a rescue party from your world, and they've come to take you home. And naturally, they've brought with them chocolate. Enough to share with everyone. For the first time, these unenlightened beings taste chocolate, and a bolt of lightning splits the sky, and a choir of angels sings on high, and the alien world is rocked by a sudden and universal paradigm shift. Because chocolate isn't a color or a size or a shape. Chocolate isn't an intellectual concept to be measured in pedantic facts. Chocolate is a taste, and a taste can only be tasted. Now, now they know chocolate. And now, as if of one mind, they turn to you in amazement and they ask, why didn't you just say so? As you board your vessel bound for home, they all nod and smile and wave and call out to you a parting salute with mouths full of love and chewy goodness. Chocolate! Chocolate! Well, my mama didn't lie. A sword fight is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. You can suspect. You can guess. 
Sometimes you might guess correctly, sometimes not. But you can't know ahead of time, not for sure, no matter what it says on the box. You can only know for sure what you're going to get when you get it, when you bite into it and taste it. You can only experience a sword fight in the present moment when you bite into it and taste it. So that part's true. But there's also this. When you come to the Saldarms, I understand that you don't know chocolate. And you don't know that you don't know because you don't even know that chocolate exists. Or, or even worse, you might think you do know because you read something about chocolate in a book someplace or saw a picture of it. My job isn't to describe chocolate to you. My job isn't to explain it to you. My job isn't to show it to you. My job is to let you taste it. And once you do, I don't ever have to describe it. All I have to say is chocolate, and you'll understand.